Hello Capricorns and welcome to CS Tarot. We're going to be diving in to a general read, okay? So if you're new here, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. And let me know if it resonates with you, okay? Um, also, if you get to this reading and you find you're interested in a personal, my email and my Instagram is down below. You can message me on either and we will chat, okay? Um, so let's dive into this. I'm just going to follow the energy um, and see where it goes, okay? <laughs> First out, I haven't knocked on the cards yet, but in the pre-shuffle here, we've got the Page of Swords. So Capricorn, somebody is watching you, stalking your social media, could be stalking you in person. <laughs> Doesn't have to be on a creepy tip, but somebody's definitely got their eye on you for sure. Is the energy I'm picking up right off the bat. Somebody could be keeping tabs on you. Um, most definitely could be an air sign, not necessarily so, but we're going to dive in and see what's going on here. So spirit, please show me clear, accurate messages for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn in love spirit? Oops. Bottom of the deck, we've got the two of cups. So whoever's watching you, um, you guys are both interested in each other, or this could be an, an established connection. Um, but there's definitely romantic in interest on both sides if this person is watching you. And the Two of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so that is Cancer Energy. What's going on for love for Capricorn? Please show me clearly, Spirit. Sorry guys, I was out of town for a couple of days, so I haven't been doing readings, but I'm back now, home. There's that Two of Cups! Look at this, Capricorn. Holy shit, there's that two of cups. There is a romance um, here. There is mutual interest, there is mutual love. Whoever that you're dealing with, whoever this person that you are dealing with is keeping tabs on you, very close tabs on you because um, they're invested in you here is what I'm, I'm hearing from Spirit. It could definitely be a cancer or an air sign okay we're gonna see it can be any sign taking out resonates but that's what's come through first show me more two of, that two of cups really wanted to come out um someone's really into you and you're really into someone or for some of you it could be just uh the beginning buds um of a connection like uh maybe you guys are both interested in each other Let's see. Not That's not necessarily so, but let's see. Someone's definitely keeping tabs on you, though, Capricorn. Cage of Pentacles. Earth Energy. Somebody wants to know more about you. Or is interested in exploring this connection or moving this connection forward in some way. Someone's very curious about you. There's a fear. Someone's very curious. Someone's scared or feels trapped. Maybe they feel like they can't move towards you. Maybe there's some kind of restriction between the two of you. Let's dive deeper. We've got Gemini energy coming out. Ooh, so King of Pentacles flipped in my hand and then these two fell. Ten of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so... Virgo, Taurus, Sag, Gemini, Cancer. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. Somebody is watching you. Someone's attracted to you. Somebody wants you. Someone's desiring you. However, this person, and this person's developing feelings for you. We've got the three of wands here, Aries energy. This person's developing feelings for you, but I feel like this person is already in a connection, Okay. This person is holding a space in their heart for you. There is a restriction here with the Eight of Wands. Um, they're burdened by that restriction. And that restriction feels like this person's already in another connection. They could be married, not necessarily so. If they're not married, um, they're quite deep in the connection that they're currently in, is what I'm seeing. So this is the person that you're dealing with. This person feels very restricted, but this person has strong feelings for you. You also have strong feelings for this person. This person is keeping tabs on you, wondering what you're doing, where you're going, who you're spending your time with. I'm seeing some jealousy coming through this person uh, because their feelings are so strong for you. 
um, even though they're committed el elsewhere with someone. They could live with this person um, currently. Yeah, look, there's the Seven of Cups. This person is dreaming and fantasizing about you. You're currently an option to this person simply because they're already in a, another commitment. Um, and they're fearing that they're going to miss their opportunity with you if they don't make a move. This person is very frustrated, having a lot of anxiety. <clears throat> Scorpio energy coming out here. They need to make a decision. There's the two of wands. This person needs to make a decision. Decision on what they're going to do. Show me the eight of swords here, Spirit. Eight of swords, yeah. They're scared to end it. They're in a connection. They're in a connection. They want to end it, but they're scared. <clears throat> There's the emperor at the bottom of the deck. They know that they need to take control of the situation. They know that they do. Their heart is with you right now. They're feeling very burdened by whatever connection that they're in. It's like it, it, it feels like this person really believes that the grass is greener with you. Emperor, look at that. Emperor energy, and then you have the Knight of Cups underneath. This person wants to take control of their look in there. There's the devil. They're obsessing. They're obsessing. You're their vice here, Capricorn. You are their vice. This, is, this restriction is causing them a lot of pain because they can't seem to shake you. A lot of pain and anxiety is what I'm seeing here. Ooh. Okay, I'm not taking all those. There's four cards that fell out. Um, there's a lot of pain and anxiety surrounding uh, the connection that they're in and their desire for you. It seems like their desire is just building and building and building. They know they need to make a decision here with that two of wands. I feel like this person is married or committed, but they can't stop dreaming about you with the Seven of Cups. I feel like they've definitely, for some of you, this person has cheated on their significant other with you. For others, this person is um, dreaming about cheating on their significant other with you. This person is very confused about what their next action is going to be. They know what they want, but it's like there's some kind of fear of ending it. They could be intertwined in a toxic connection here with that devil energy. For some of you, show me the show me the two of wands. Two of Wands, look at this, and there's the sun. Two of Wands and the sun, they want to go towards what's going to make them happy. And what's going to make them happy is you. Is what I'm feeling here. Leo energy. They want to go towards what's going to make them happy here. Punishment, Ace of Swords. I don't think they've communicated this yet to you. <clears throat> Look, mirror at the bottom of the deck. This person's waiting for the right time to tell you how they feel about you, to tell you how deeply intertwined they are to you how much they love you, how much they care about you, how much they desire to you, how much they can't stop thinking about you. But it's not the right timing yet. With the punishment card, it's almost similar to the hangman. It's not the right time yet. But the two of you, this is almost like a fortune card. Uh, this is similar to the fortune card. It's also a reflection. It's like the two of you are feeling the same. <clears throat> The two of you are waiting for the right time to come together. You are aware of this connection that they're currently in Capricorn. You are aware of it. Show me the two of cups, spirit. Just 
This person may not be communicating very much right now because um, I see that they're watching you and observing you. I see there's an undertone of jealousy here. Um, I don't know, Capricorn, if you're dating someone else or seeing other people while you wait for this person or this person has a fear of you um, entertaining other options. But this person's keeping a close eye on you. Show me the two of cups. Yeah, the eight of cups. This person's fearing that you're going to walk away. <clears throat> seven of seven of seven of swords. What did I say? <clears throat> this person's scared that you're going to walk away. Um that you're not going to wait for them, that you're entertaining other options or cheating. Not that you're cheating, but um, you're deceiving them, like you're not going to wait for them. Maybe they feel like your love isn't strong enough for them. I feel like this person has kept you waiting for some time. Maybe this person told you that they were going to leave their other person for a while now and they haven't. Um... So uh, I think that's why this person's keeping an eye on you to see if you are entertaining other people. This person is really scared to move and end it with their other person. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why this person feels bound to that person, but this person is it's got the Ten of Wands. It's definitely a burden to to stay in the connection that they're in. Show me one more on that Two of Cups. And they're fearing that you're going to walk away. Two of Cups, there's the Five of Wands that flipped in my hand. Competition. They're scared that other people are fighting for your attention, that other people are interested in you, and that you're going to walk away from this connection. Bottom of the deck, High Priestess, I'm on point. They feel like you may be harboring a secret, that you're entertaining other options. It's not really fair, fair. it's calling the kettle black, isn't it? Show me the king of earth. Yeah, look, seven of seven of swords. Deception. Look at this. There, he's not whoever he, she, it, that, the, whoever this person is, they're not happy in their connection. They're very unhappy. Pessimistic energy, five of cups, king of pentacles, and the seven of swords. This person is not happy in their connection. That's why they're looking externally. Could be why they're cheating, why they're entertaining other people, why they're entertaining you, Capricorn, is because they're not happy in their current connection. It's not a happy home. They don't. They no longer are design, desiring the connection that they're currently in. In fact, they're desiring you so much so that it's causing them anxiety. They're obsessing. They're watching. They're fearing that you're going to abandon the connection that the two of you have because you're tired of waiting and there's other people who are vying for your attention. Show me the Seven of Cups. Four of Wands. They're definitely fantasizing about coming together with you. They're fantasizing about being with you. They're fantasizing about making this official. This is also the 1111 card. Fantasizing about making it official here with you. Having a future with you. Having stability with you. They think you're a good option for long term. Strong sexual desire for you as well. Page of... Uh, Wands here. I feel like they're constantly thinking about you. Show me the page of earth. Oops, there's a lot of cards falling. Okay, let's try this again. Show me the page of pentacles, spirit.
Page of Pentacles, justice. Justice and the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Libra energy. Libra times two. Strong Gemini, Libra, Leo. Could be any sign, but strong Gemini, Libra, Leo. Um, Aquarius, sorry, not Aquarius, Aries as well. Also saw that uh, Emperor. Um, Page of Earth, Justice. This person is trying to figure out a way to do what's right by you before you walk away. They can they feel you growing impatient with this connection. Let's see what their next action is going to be towards you. Spirit, please show me clear, accurate messages. What is this person's next action towards Capricorn? What is this person's next action towards Capricorn? This person is growing very anxious, <coughs> scared, jealous. They're very, they're fearing that you're going to walk away because there's other people showing you attention. So they're watching and stalking and obsessing. They don't want you to go anywhere. Look, look as I stop shuffling. Two of fucking cups. Two of fucking cups. At the bottom of this deck. They don't want to let you go. It's this person's next action. Towards Capricorn Spirit. We got the Three of Cups, Reunion Energy. Strength. Now, what it's looking like to me is this person, there's the Two of, two of Wands, uh, Queen of Wands. This person may invite you out. This person may invite you out for some fun, some drinks. It feels quite sexual. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck, the strength card. Um, it feels quite sexual. It feels like this person um, is going to try to break the ice with you. Maybe this person hasn't communicated in some time, but this person wants to communicate, re reunite here. I'm going to leave that Queen of Wands here. Let's get one more. What is their intentions with Capricorn? I need a message of this person missing physical touch here. Queen of Cups. Yeah, this person's missing you, longing for you. What did I just say? This person's longing for you. This person really cares about you. Bottom of the deck, Nine of Wands. Having a lot of anxiety about you. This person's really trying, like this person's really scared they're going to lose you. This person wants to show you um, in a passionate energy, how much they care about you. This is how they're showing their love. This is their love. Oh, it's winter. Come here. This is their love language is by showing you passion. I feel like your connection thus far has been quite sexual and, um, they're showing you love through passion. This is what I'm seeing here. Give me one more spirit. Because they don't they don't know how to give you anything else at this time. There's so much anxiety and fear. There's temperance. 
Yeah, you're going to have to be patient. It's like um, divine timing is at play here. You're going to have to be patient. Look, high priestess at the bottom of the fucking deck. It's about divine timing. I feel like this connection is not quite ready to come together full swing. That's probably why this person is having so much anxiety and fear. <clears throat> and fear. It's not. This connection is not ready to come together full swing. Um, but it, it will be. At some point it will be, but this is very much about divine timing. It's not going to happen as fast as you maybe you'd like it to, or this person would like it to. This person is very scared that you're going to abandon this connection. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. Hit that like, subscribe, comment down below. Again, if you are interested in a personal reading, my email and my Instagram is down below. Thank you so much for watching CS Tarot. I'm wishing you all the best in your romantic future. Love and light.